The topic in this video is uh, rationalizing the third at the denominator. Rationalizing the third at the denominator is by the third of the denominator. We're going to uh, rationalize that or we're going to avoid the thirds at the denominator. And the second one is we're going to get, get the conjugate of the denominator. Okay, so we have... Um, we have to take a look at the third at the denominator. Okay, denominator. We are going to rationalize the third at the denominator. And the second one is we are going to uh, rationalize also the conjugate of the denominator. Or we have to have the conjugate of the denominator. Okay, so conjugate, or a conjugate, okay, a conjugate of the denominator, of the denominator. Okay, example number one, we have, say, uh, 2 over square root of 5. There is a third at the denominator, so we are going to rationalize this one. Okay, so if we multiply this one, that gives us the same thing, okay? What we're trying to do is we're going to avoid the root or the irrational number at the denominator. If we are going to uh, rationalize this by multiplying it, uh, multiplying the same uh, irrational number at the denominator, divided by the same, let us see. 2 over square root of 5 multiplied by 1 can be written in the form of the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 5. If you divide this 1, that gives us 5. If we are going to do this, we are going to avoid the root or the third at the denominator. So, uh, simplifying this further, 2 times the square root of 5, that gives us 2 square root of 5 divided by, okay, square root of 5 times the square root of 5, that gives us 5, okay? So, uh, by rationalizing the third of the denominator, we uh, finally avoided the third at the denominator. Okay, so, uh, let's say another example. We have, say, um, 3 over uh, square root of, uh, say, uh, 7, okay, 2 square root of 7. To rationalize this uh, is we multiply with the same expression at the denominator. So we have 2 square root of 7 divided by 2 square root of 7. We are not changing the value of this one, okay? You see, if this is being uh, um, uh, divided, we go back to 1. Okay, so 2 multiplied by uh, 3, that should give us 6 uh, square root of 7, divided by, that is your 4 square root of 7. No, this is already 4, oh, 7 and 7, that gives us uh, 7. Okay, so we have uh, 6 square root of 7, divided by 28. Okay, you can cancel this out by uh, 2. So that gives us 3 over 14. Okay, so it is already uh, simplified. Okay, so let's uh, see. Uh, when we have uh, a third at the denominator, say uh, 2 over square root of 5 minus uh, square root of 3. We are going to, be, to rationalize this by uh, the conjugate of the denominator. A conjugate of denominator is uh, the same as uh, the sign, one of the signs is changed. Okay, so we multiply, the, if this is negative, we have to change this with positive. So times square root of 5 plus the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 5 plus the square root of 3. Okay? 
So by simplifying this further, that must give us 2 and we have uh, square root of 5 plus the square root of 3. Okay, divide by um, square root of 5, multiplied by square root of 5, that should give us uh, 5. And square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 3, that should give us 3 as well. So we have uh, minus 8 minus 3. So this is the same way as writing 2 multiplied by the square root of 5 plus the square root of 3 divided by 2. Since there are two factors okay, in the expression, so I can just cancel that one. That should give us uh, square root of 5 plus the square root of 3. By getting the conjugate of the denominator, we are trying to avoid the third at the denominator. And this is the simplified one already. Okay, so we have another one. Example, say uh, 3 over, um, say, square root of 7 plus the square root of 2. Okay, so uh, we are going to get the conjugate or have the conjugate of the denominator by changing its sign. So we need to multiply this with its conjugate, okay? The conjugate of this one is minus, so square root of 7 minus the square root of 2. Divide it by square root of 7 minus the square root of 2, okay? So this is uh, the same way as writing 3, okay? The square root of 7 minus the square root of 2. And uh, the square root of 7 multiplied by the square root of 7, that should give us 7. And uh, this square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2, that should give us a square root of 2. Okay, and this should give us 3 square root of 7 minus the square root of 2 divided by 5. Okay. So, this is uh, how to rationalize search at the denominator, okay? This is how we do it, and uh, it's very easy to do it. See you in the next video. Thank you.